What's happening, everybody? This is the Big Jew, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. No combo run. Anyways, all right. Since last episode, I got spells for Frog. There, he learns heal at level at, at level. Yeah, he learns heal when he gets uh, 158 more skill points, which is pretty good. Multi-targeting uh, stuff there. Uh, learned some uh, cool new uh, attacks with. Uh, because he learned spells, and we learned, and with a uh, frog rock rub to that, the frog chrono at T260. Wow. The ability to talk is gone today, apparently. <laughs> we learned triple raid, which is the, I think the only, uh, level 3 combo which doesn't involve a spell at all. It's X Strike plus Robo Tackle. And it's disgusting. It's it's ridiculous. This level of the game, yeah, it's it's insane. It's, <laughs> that's why I'm not using combos, because I could just use that and kill everything in sight, so yeah. Just say no to that, right? Yes, frog, it's a rock wall that we need to get through in order to get to Magus. You can cry later. Need your help now though. That was it. So was, it, was that Kid Glenn or something like that? He's getting beat up. I guess. Just quit spinning, buddy. Aw. That makes sense, yeah. Just fight back, man. Well, it's one against four. I don't think that'd be real wise. Whatever. You know what I mean. Who are you calling soft? <laughs> Well, I don't think you want to be giving that advice to him, Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that, that's the most I'm going to say about being bullied and pushed around and all that good stuff. That everyone goes through, whatever. Better to be ignored. I mean, better to be, better to be bullied than just ignored. Yeah. Well, he just doesn't know how to kick ass on Q Cyrus. Yeah. Same with me. Like all the times I actually wanted to go into law enforcement when I was a little kid. Because that's everyone, every kid's dream. I want to be a policeman. Yeah. After watching Judge Dredd, I'm like, man, you know, I'd probably turn into Judge Dredd if I were to become a law enforcer. Same with teaching. I just, I mean, I mean, my dad had a Napoleon complex, so I do too, you know? Just like my dad was obsessive compulsive and I do have OCD moments. Especially in video games, oh my god. <laughs> There's a discussion I was having with a, another LP here uh, about grinding in Final Fantasy 1. Because uh, I like to have all my players have the same amount of XP. So if one player dies, then, you know, I'm like, oh no, what am I supposed to do now? Yeah. Some games like that in Final Fantasy 6 and the Dragon Quest games, like, uh, I just like to have everyone an even level. But whatever. Yeah, it's, a, it's on a OCD for the win. Right? Anyways, turn your speakers down. <laughs> After this. Or right now. Turn it down. Most annoying sound ever. Get ready. Oh boy. Good God. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I think we can. I don't think we have a problem against Magus with this, uh, with the Masamune. If it can do stuff like that. Yeah. Holy mother of God. Frog's like, that's right, I'm back. Anyways. <laughs> now it's like business as usual. So we have the muscle moon, hey, yay, and it has a it has really good attack power apparently. <laughs> and we got enemies to deal with. Really annoying enemies. 
enemies around here, well, let's just say, physical attacks don't do much, but certain magic attacks just won't do anything. Really weird to give the, uh, the elemental affinities these enemies have. So that's why I have T260, because he can just murder everything with laser beam. Oh, we got another uh, black chest there. Sweet. Don't fight those enemies. You'll regret it. Because they'll set off a chain pretty much every enemy down that little path I just walked through will uh, result in an enemy encounter. It's really annoying. Really? Huh. Remember that for later, viewers. What's this little bat following us for? Whatever. It's annoying, but it's cool. Alright. Here we are. Magus's, Magus's Keep. Magus's Castle, Magus's Keep, whatever. By the way, I might re-record one of my older episodes. Uh, number 19. One, I sound like... I don't sound great in it. And two, it looks terrible. Good God, it looks horrible. Like, I was watching it earlier, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, how can this be watchable? So, yeah. I really might redo that episode. We will see. Wow. This is a neat looking place. What's this bat following us for? What the hell? Okay. Why is there no music? What are you laughing for? Can I take this chest without getting punished for it? I guess. Huh. Okay, this is creepy. Really, really creepy. Get a shelter. Okay. And a mid ether. And there's a sword there, which I can't take right now. Because it's like all RPG players, you, you can't jump while you're walking. You have to jump while you're in a fight. That's how it's always been, since the beginning of time. That must be pretty important. Hey, it's Luca. What's up, Luca? What happens if I put her in my party? Let me get Luca's dad. What's up, Luca's dad? Talk to me. So what if we have Marley in the party? Then you have the King of Guardia. Cool. Huh, alright. Sweet. This is weird. What about you? Can you talk to me? Yeah, I guess so. What is this? Chrono's mom? It is Chrono's mom. Huh. Okay, this is weird. This is just... Oh, a save point. I guess I should walk across the save point. And... What the hell? Oh, so that bat belongs to Ozzy. Okay. Huh. Right. Slash and flee. Really? Really, game? What is their obsession with alternative rock? I mean, I like alternative rock just as much as anyone else, but... Slash from GNR and flee from the Chili Peppers. And, Oz and we're fighting Ozzy Osbourne. Okay. That, 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 that's great. That's awesome. All 100 monsters, huh? Yeah, well, we got six right here, so we're already 6% done. Let's go ahead and laser spin, kill all these guys in one shot. Absolutely. Except how you do it around here. Actually, these enemies have a little bit more hit points. I don't think they're going to just go down really easily. Yeah, these hench enemies are a little bit more powerful, so... That's something we can't just take out friggin' destroy, especially the frog and that Masamune of his, friggin' amazing. Go ahead and use a rocket punch to take him out here. Rocket man! 
<laughs> yeah, where's Elton John in all this, huh? Twelve tech points. Yeah, these enemies aren't gonna give up a lot of tech points. Now, if you talk to the to that guy, he'll just they'll just start a fight, and I really don't want to fight that. I really don't. Oh, fine, I'll show one off because I'm ten minutes already, and I may as well. Uh, may as well end the episode after this. Got Omicron and Decadence. And you can't just get past the Decadence by uh, hitting Ozzy three times. You have to actually deal with them, like, for reals. So, yeah. I think they absorb Shadow. Yeah, they do. Well, that's lame. So you have to mash the A button until they die, then. So this is what I mean. Cause, like, some of the enemies will have weaknesses to shadow and lightning and stuff like that. Other enemies can't hit them with magic. Like, hit those, if you try to hit the decadence with magic, it won't do much. So, yeah. Take him down. Good shot there. Sweet. Awesome. Alright, but what else awaits us in Magus's Keep? Will we fight Slash? Will we fight Flea? Will we fight Ozzy? And can we find Magus in this place? Find out next time on Chrono Trigger No Combo Run. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.